I'm Adam Reed, co-founder of Percy and Reed London. I'm here today to show you how to create the Percy and Reed Perfect Blow Dryer. The products that I'm using, and a tiny little bit of our Wonder Balm. This is a hair primer. One or two pumps of Wonder Balm into your hands. And I'm using a little bit of our Treatment Oil Plus. Oils are absolutely amazing for nourishing the hair. One or two pumps of treatment oil on the Wonder Balm. Work that into your hands as so. So you get a full distribution and then work from the roots through to the ends of the hair. I'm using the GHD paddle brush here and I'm pulling that product through the hair. So make sure you spend some time getting this into the hair. The more time you spend, the longer your blow dry will last without any shadow of a doubt. We then use our root lift mousse. So when you're looking for lift at the root or you're looking for volume in your hair, obviously you need to make sure you get that hold and grip in the root area. So this product, you lift the hair, you direct the director at the root and you spray it in. And then you follow that right the way through the hair. If you need extra lift in extra areas like the top, just spray a little bit of extra product into the mousse and then you can comb that from the roots all the way through to the ends of the hair. So you get that perfect distribution and hold. When you're blow drying, it's absolutely essential that you section the hair off. I see so many people blow drying their hair, sort of rough drying it all over. Always start blow drying from the bottom. So here I'm using a larger brush and I always recommend to get a really smooth finish to use a larger brush than you're used to. You get a much better pull and more tension on the hair and that's really important. This is the GHD size 4 ceramic blow drying brush. Make sure you have your nozzle that follows the hair and you'll see that when I'm blow drying my nozzle continually follows the brush. I don't go backwards and forwards up the hair, by going back up the hair you're opening up the cuticle. And inside a secret is something that I absolutely do on every single blow dry is when you get to that last section of hair and the hair is blow dried use a cold shot of air. What that does, that helps you to seal down the cuticle and get this incredible shine. You can see that absolutely amazing shine in the hair. So when you finish a blow dry, this is sort of that real London cool. This has got volume in, you've smoothed the hair out, you've got movement in there, so you're not flattening down the hair. What's amazing here is, in a minute, I'm gonna show you how you get that really beautiful, modern volume finish and again another really really great tip and something that we would always do is spray your brush so i'm using my ghd paddle brush here as my finisher i'm using the Percy reed session hold hairspray it's a really really ultra light hairspray and i'm just smoothing that through the hair with the brush so you get the hold you don't get that helmet like feel and again where the weather is humid that's really important because you don't want the hair to start to get sticky and heavy you have flyaways you can always use a little bit of the finishing polish this is an ultra light formula it's a literally you use the size of a pea, work that through the hair and you just get rid of all of those flyaways in the hair. Now, as I start to bring this forward, what you're gonna to start to see is that volume in the hair. This hasn't flattened the hair. This just gives you that really, really amazing finish. You can just gently shake it out and you get that movement and volume, or you can use a brush. And this really is that sort of effortless London cool girl hair. Again, another really great tip, just those little flyaways here. Spray your fingers with your hairspray. Work that through and then just smooth those down just to get that perfect finish without a helmet-like finish on the hair. This is how you create the perfect Percy and Reed blow dry.